Let us study about another important term in magnetic properties that is magnetic field vectors B vector and H vector. I hope B vector you are all familiar with. Uh, we can also write that the magnetic induction produced by a current given by Biot-Savart's law, which you can all recall, is measured in Tesla and denoted as B vector. This we already studied in the previous topic also. But when we talk about magnetization of materials, we can write that when a magnetic field passes through materials due to magnetization of materials total magnetic field inside changes this we also discussed in previous section that once a material is magnetized or we can calculate its intensity of magnetization and in turn we can calculate the magnetic induction due to the magnetization of material so when external magnetic field is applied onto a material, the total magnetic field inside changes due to magnetization of material. So, in this situation, if we talk about this B vector, B vector after getting into the material after magnetization changes to some other value B net, which is, which may be more or less, which we have discussed in the previous section that in diamagnetic materials, the magnetic field net decreases and in paramagnetic material it uh, increases. So, here we can write, here we need to define another physical quantity H vector, this is denoted by H vector, this is also for external magnetic field. which does not change with medium and this physical quantity is called, this H vector is called magnetic field strength or magnetizing field this is defined as a magnetic field strength or magnetizing field. Now, in this situation, this H vector is defined in a way that when an external magnetic field passes into a material, then in this situation, this H vector does not change and we can write for a magnetic induction B naught vector, which is say an external field in free space, its H vector is defined as this we can directly write H vector is equals to B naught vector by mu naught, or if somewhere H vector is known, we can write the magnetic field and free space due to the H vector is written as mu naught H vector. And when we talk about a medium, then directly we can multiply it with the permeability of medium, which gives us the value of magnetic field inside the material. So here we can write in a material, B vector can be directly written as mu r multiplied by mu naught H vector. This is the way how we define. In coming sections, we'll get more relation relations in B vector, H vector, as well as I vector, which is the intensity of magnetization in different materials.